my package is indeed missing. Welcome back to my channel, it's Lauren, and welcome to my National American Miss prep video. If you're new here, my name is Lauren. I go to the University of Alabama, and I am currently a junior here. I cannot wait to share with y'all this video. This video is so, so fun to film. By the time you're watching this, I have already ended National American Miss. I have already vlogged the packing and competing and everything like that. So definitely check back on my channel if you want more information on that. So a little backstory just to give you kind of like an idea of what this is. Basically, National American Miss is a pageant organization that I decided to compete in this year. So I am currently the reigning Miss Alabama for National American Miss, and I am going to Orlando, Florida to compete at nationals for the national title of National American Miss. There was a lot of prep that went into this. I wish I vlogged more of the prep. Honestly, this snuck up on me way, way sooner than what I thought it was going to, but I basically showed you kind of like things getting sent to me in the mail, kind of prep everything anything and everything that I could and thought about vlogging I definitely did I just thought it would be like a fun little video to throw in here so this is a little bit of my prep of going through um, getting prepared if you have any questions please reach out to me comment them down below also I want to mention that all of these were filmed at like different points I think I started filming this in September of this year this has been just like kind of accumulating itself so I'm hoping that's gonna make sense but anywho yeah so without further ado let's get going with the prep Guys, my dress just came in the mail. <laughs> okay, y'all, like literally if I could just give you like what I wanted my dress to look like and be, literally this dress is it. I wanted you to be one of the first people to see it with me. So... So I got a note. Okay guys, here we go. We're about to lift up the um, little dress hanger cover. I've got a t-shirt. I got a cute little t-shirt. Stop it right now. Stop it. Stop. It's here. Why am I like scared to open it? Oh my gosh, this shade of yellow is so pretty. No way. No way. Look at all the beading at the top. Get out of here. Oh, it has these really pretty like cape sleeves on it. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna try it on. I'm gonna try it on real quick. Oh my gosh y'all it fits really really well i was kind of nervous it needs to be taken up just a little bit on like the sides right here um and obviously oh no baby oh oh no she's like i want to be in the pageant i want to help mom i'm like oh baby oh you cannot touch this play with that for a minute but look it even has this on the side but the waist fits really well but the waist could be taken in but honestly i don't even think i mean i think it looks beautiful the way that it is like i don't even want to like mess with this beading or anything if i don't have to this and baby ale is like please let me have it i just feel like a million bucks y'all i know baby ale like i really do i really do i love this oh my god this is so exciting. Okay, so Ella is over here helping me with the gifts. So I have these really cute stickers that say Nam Alabama. Um, everyone's gonna get like this really cute like cold brew sweet tea. And then we have honey jars and Ella filled up all of these honey jars. So cute. So, so cute. So we're putting the stickers on top of the honey jar and we're just kind of trying to put everything together. Sky crashes into the sea.
Guys, I'm literally sweating right now. I had a mock interview with the National Queen and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like so unwell. I was like trying to think of like interview questions that she could ask me and it was a 10 minute interview And like I literally sweat through my clothes Like I don't even know why I get so stressed out about these things Like I'm literally just telling people about myself and my thoughts like it's not that big of a deal This is a moment I have been waiting for for so so long. Okay, so my talent hat just came in the mail I am doing a legally blonde inspired talent routine and oh my gosh y'all it has been such a happy trying to get everything together for Nam. Like my fitness outfit is still missing um, and I ordered it in October. So I'm about to have to reorder my fitness. Um, but, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is a custom made hat because I couldn't find anybody else that had a hat like this. Oh, she wrapped it in pink. Get out of town. She wrote me a note. Let's see what she said. Dear Lauren, thank you for your order. I truthfully can't really read this, but it's the thought that counts. I don't know how to undo this. Is this like easy? Like, should I know how to do this? Oh, there we go. <gasps> OMG. OMG, guys. Okay, this is the feather that goes in a PF Chang's bag. You love to see it. Um, that goes on top of the hat. Hold on, I just wanna, hold on. This is what I see right now. Oh my God. Okay, hold on. Ah! I'm like so freaking excited. She was so sweet to make me this hat. Get out of town. Get out of town right now. Stop it. Oh, uh, there's a note. Chin strap. Oh, and like the top is like this, like where you can move it to be like your own sparkle. Stop it right now. Why am I gonna be like messing with this like when I'm stressed out? It's like messing with my hat. Okay, this is like really bad lighting, but this is what the hat looks like. So cute. I'm gonna take this little strap off. So bedazzled, so cute. Stop it right now. <laughs> Stop it right now. This is so cute. Wait, I have to add this little thingy. I don't know how to add like the little, oh, it's like a pen. Sorry, y'all, you're probably like, what the heck, Lauren? <gasps> oh, it goes in like this. And then like you can flip the feather. Get out of town. Get out of town. Y'all look at me. Little Miss Woods comma L. Can you guess the song I'm singing based on this hat? Baby L, what do you think of my hat? Do you like it? She's like, I see the feathers and that's what I want. OMG, I'm literally going to cry. Hi, welcome back to my pageant prep vlog. Okay, so I wanted to give y'all a little update about things that have happened that I don't think I have filmed along the way because it's been like, it's been very stressful and very, very hectic getting to the point in which we are at now. So I had to write down a list of notes so I didn't forget anything. So basically, number one with this pageant, my banner is still missing. Um, I went and sent my banner to be embroidered and and it lit it like on the back of it. So like it says like Miss Alabama, but like on the back, like you can get it um, embroidered to have your name on it. So I sent it in to get it embroidered. That was like in August and I still haven't received it. And so the woman contacted me and she was like, do you have your banner? And I was like, no. And she was like, I don't have it. And I'm like, um. She was like, I haven't seen it and that's an issue. I'm like, you're telling me. So I still don't have my banner. Apparently it was sent out on Monday. Um, I am hoping that it's going to get here within the next couple of days. The next thing is I ordered a pair of formal shoes and they were so cute and then they ran out of my size. And so I ordered another pair of formal shoes like second hand and they never shipped it out. So I had to buy a third pair of shoes and those finally got to me. They're from Amazon. They're actually really comfy. So then I buy this interview dress and it is a Adorable. Favorite dress I think I've ever bought in my life, it, but it was really hard to find my size in this dress. I finally found my size. I order it. Don't think about it anymore. My coach texts me and she's like, hey, where's your interview dress? Like, how does it fit? How does it look? And I'm like, that's a good question. Where is my interview dress? I look it up after a month of it not being shipped they canceled my order without telling me without telling me that they canceled my order they canceled my order because they lost the only dress they had in stock of my size and i'm like okay no worries do you have a size up and they're like actually like no we're like we're sold out of the complete dress 
like in every size and I'm like okay cool so I buy another interview dress it comes in the mail it is so small it makes me feel so bad so bad and it comes with a black stain on the arm I'm like hello what so I have to reorder the dress I order my formal gown online and it comes with a hole in it a hole in the dress and I'm like are you kidding me? Um, but the person did let me know. She did give me a discount. She was actually very, very nice. Um, it just looks like someone had stepped in the dress and I'm thinking that it's going to be like cut out. I mean, it's not that big of a hole, but like it's a hole. And then for talent, I decided three days before the deadline to turn in music, what I was going to do. Um, so I have this girl literally like rush cut this music. I haven't even practiced with the music and I just sent it in. I sent in the music without even singing to it because I'm like, I don't have any time at this point at all. So then for the talent, I knew that I had to have an outfit, like a very specific outfit. So I start scouring the internet, can't find anything. And my grand little is like, oh, I have this girl's number who has an outfit that would be perfect. You contact her. I said, say less. I contact this girl. Get no answer. Nada. It's crickets. Okay, that's what's going on. And I'm like, okay, I guess I have to order a costume. So I literally order a custom costume for this talent. Y'all, I don't even know why. I don't even know why. Because I can't find it anywhere. It's like so specific. You will understand once you see it. So specific. I'm like, okay, I have to custom order this costume. Of course, the next morning after I have ordered this costume, that girl finally answers. Keep in mind, it was a straight week that this girl just ignored me. But literally, you couldn't have responded 12 hours earlier. That's good. Then my fifth fitness fiasco y'all you are not gonna believe all this okay so on top of all this stuff that has happened within the span of like a month a month I am doing fun fitness, which means I'm wearing an athletic outfit and I go and revolve. I order two different outfits actually, because I'm like, I don't know what one I'm going to like. I don't know if it's going to fit better. So I order two different outfits. It is very expensive. If you've gone on revolve, you know that it's at a very expensive site normally. So I order these things. I pay for two day flight shipping via UPS and I ordered this October 12th. It is now November 10th and guess what? It's still not here. And so I didn't realize that that was an issue until my coach that thank God, was like, hey, where's your fitness? And I'm like, that's a good question. Where is my fitness? Kind of deja vu. And I'm like, are you kidding me? This cannot be happening. UPS delivered my package to an access point. They said they attempted to deliver it, but they didn't. They delivered it to an access point, which I don't really understand the point of it. Apparently, whenever I was talking to the girl, it's basically where you can go pick up your package if it's like after hours. I honestly don't get why I pay for shipping to get it delivered to my door and it be sent to an access point. There was no reason why it should be sent to an access point. There is no no signature required. Anyways, this thing gets sent to the access point. I message UPS three different times online and eventually they finally get it shipped back, like I guess to the UPS facility here. Once it gets to the UPS facility, I call back up. I'm like, hey, I still haven't received my package. And they're like, oh, so sorry. We'll send it out on the truck today. Well, guess what? It didn't come. Hey, I didn't get my package. Oh, it'll come tomorrow. Hey, guess what? It still didn't come. Okay. It was like so back and forth for the straight like two weeks. I have been calling every single day this UPS store. I'm not even joking. And it's this poor woman that has to keep helping me that I feel so sorry for. Jade from UPS, if you're watching this, I am sincerely sorry for you having to deal with this. But she's been really, really nice and just so sweet to me. Oh, well, hello, baby L. Are you coming in for the fiasco as well? So I finally called back today because she has been saying like, oh, it'll be shipped out on the truck. It'll be shipped out on the truck. Well, guess what? It still hasn't been shipped out on the truck. The person finally comes to deliver it, but apparently he doesn't know the right apartment number even though it was on my package So he brings it back to the UPS facility when he brought it back to the UPS facility Literally last night they misplaced it and now it is missing literally MIA in their facility So I called back to Jade. I'm like Jade. It's still not here. She's like you've got to be kidding me I'm like girl. I know you're telling me so she finally calls me back today and she has contacted her boss she has looked all over the facility and my package is indeed missing and she told me she was like i'm just gonna be straight up honest with you we did lose your package i'm like good but on the bright side i did order a newer and i think better fitness outfit anyways for the competition and i also contacted revolve and revolve was super duper nice great customer service also jade from ups was really nice the people online weren't nice but jade you get a five out of five or 10 out of 10 either one you're amazing revolve was super duper nice they are sending me a whole different package with those items that ups misplaced in the first place they also offered me a refund but i just decided to get the extra package since 
sent to me. That way, if something happens with the new outfit, I do have backups available. So that is kind of what has been going on with my package dilemma. I simply do not trust any postal service anymore. Um, I've been trying to be like very, maybe I was like running around crazy. I've been trying to be like very understanding over everything. Like I get like there are shortages and holidays are coming up and things like that. But also with the companies canceling my order and then not even telling me, like what's up with that y'all? I don't even know. Um, That's a little update on my pageant prep. I also still haven't filled out my forms and they are due at check-in, but like I have to have people like check my forms and everything. Um, I still don't know the opening number dance. I still don't have a routine for my fitness um, or casual wear or runway. Um, I don't have shoes or jewelry for my casual wear. I don't have an outfit for my photo shoot. Like it's so much that like I'm trying not to think about, but like I have to think about it because like it's here. Basically like I leave in 10 days, I think. 10 or nine days I leave. Oh, also, I ordered two dresses off the app Queenly, and the seller never shipped out my dresses. Two different ones, two different sellers. Um, I ordered another dress on Queenly, and it came to me with the straps broken and self-tanner all in it. Good morning! we leave for nationals tomorrow yesterday i got a spray tan this spray tan will not last for the whole entire competition because like i said the competition is very very long i got it done for like registration we're going to disney on saturday day after tomorrow today is a very 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 busy day i have so much to get done not only for the pageant but also literally for my life and school and everything like that so um i stayed up until 4 a.m i woke up about i want to say like 10 30 it's noon right now my talent out outfit came in the mail and I'm actually very very upset so basically I ordered this talent costume for a lot of money like way more than what I should have paid but I was just desperate at this point and I was like I literally I don't have any other option so I went ahead and paid for very overpriced paid for this outfit and it does not fit me um it's not really what I was looking for but by the time they she sent me the proof picture literally there wasn't anything else she could do she had to overnight ship it to me last night so I'll show you what it looks like okay so this is the costume um, me personally, I think that I could have done this myself. I didn't have to pay someone else to do this. These are like this much, let's see, like this much too big. I don't know how it happened, um, but they literally do not fit me. Um, it's just not at all what I was wanting. Um, so those are the shorts. They're like supposed to be high-waisted. And then this is the top, which is a whole other story in itself. So this little thing is supposed to sit like on your shoulder. It's like a band majorette type deal. Um, it doesn't. Um, this little thing has been like aggravating my shoulder really really bad because it's like so sharp and sparkly so these don't sit on my shoulder basically like I was thinking they were gonna sit like this no they sit like this like that I don't know if that's normal um the top just isn't the best quality which is very very aggravating because I paid so much money for it um like I don't understand. It also doesn't fit me properly whatsoever. Um, it is very, very big. And so obviously I guess she kept these things like this um, to make it fit me better. This was made to my exact measurements. So that's what, like I'm not understanding. So now like when I put it on, it literally just looks like this because it's too big anyways. She also did like the hook and eyes on the back. You can kind of be able to tell what I'm talking about. So I can't even like zipper it up by myself. Like it literally is just like hook and eyes. So I don't really know what to do at this point. Um, this is kind of not what I was looking for. So send some prayers. Well guys, that was me prepping for National American Miss. If you enjoyed this video and you can't wait to see more like it, definitely it is coming up on my channel. I'm trying to make these kind of in order, like post in order, not to have anything in between them. That way you can kind of just like binge them if you want, if you feel like it. I had a lot of fun filming this and I'm really, really excited to compete. I cannot wait to bring you along for literally everything, literally everything. I'm just so pumped. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to join the family and click that subscribe button, also, I love you guys so much, and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye!